this is our humble abode for the week. Oh, we're ready. Oh, look at her! Today is the day that we pack in for elk. Hello, YouTube. Oh, <laughs> that was not cute. Welcome back to my channel. It is elk hunting 2021. Mm. I think I'm delirious. So look at where we are right now. Look at this mess. This is embarrassing. We didn't get anything done on the van, <laughs> nothing except for I put a little sound dampening on the ceiling. That's all those things. And then we, <laughs> then Nick put some hooks on the wall so that we can hang stuff. We have an American flag. We literally threw a queen bed uh, in the back of the van and then shoved all of our in here. And now it's elk season, um, but for real, we're in Wyoming right now. We drove from Pittsburgh to Omaha, slept in the Cabela's parking lot last night, and then drove into Wyoming today. And we've been hanging out in Cheyenne. Uh, went to the gym, showered, had some good dinner and some beer. And now we just found this little spot to camp for the night. And tomorrow we continue westward and then we'll be elk hunting. Mm -hmm which is like still sinking in. Um, but that's actually why I'm wearing <laughs> my Sitka right now because I had to buy this at the Cabela's today. So I tried it on and then we were just listening to music and Nick is starting to drink some beer and I mean, I have some beer. We'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, how do I feel? What's happening? I'm delirious. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, we just ran out of time. Like we were so busy right before we left. I like when we build out the inside of this van, I want it to be done right. So I really want to take my time and do a good job with it and have it be something that's high quality, that's going to last a long time because the four by four conversion that was done to this van is a high quality conversion that's going to last. So I want the inside to match that if that makes sense okay bye thank you bye i'm only wearing this goofy hat because the sun is so bright i'm actually going to step into the shade is that better i don't know <laughs> maybe we'll go back into the sun well we've been living on the road for five nights and we've just been cuddled up under some warm sleeping bags even though it's been cold at night we've been toasty and cozy my mom actually sewed us these awesome window covers that i love so much i feel like they've done a really good job of keeping it private when we're sleeping in more public areas and then also blocking out the sun in the morning so the van doesn't get too hot once the sun hits it so i'm really happy with those those are by far the best thing that we have in the van right now and other than that it is an absolute show i can see the potential for the future though the point of this van is for it to be a badass adventure vehicle we've taken it on some roads that you would absolutely not be able to take this van if it was not converted to a 4x4 and i'm super stoked about it we haven't showered in like three days and today's labor day so i don't think that we're going to have any luck of finding a gym open especially like <laughs> There are no gyms around here. <laughs> That's typically where we go to work out and shower when we're living on the road. <laughs> this is the coffee we're making. Delish. Look at how cool that is. It's right on top. Your mug. Some of you are asking what we'll do without a truck bed when it comes to like killing a deer. And this is our solution. It's a mount-in hitch. I talked about this a little bit in my prep video, but it just mounts directly to the hitch of the van. 
Nick said the tongue weight is like 900 pounds, right? Uh, yeah, I think it's 900 pounds. Like right now time. we have this giant cooler on here, um, which we'll put the meat in, assuming that we kill an elk this trip. But even if we were hunting somewhere else and we didn't have a cooler and you just want to throw, you know, a deer right onto that grate and then just like cover it with a tarp, that's the solution. And I guess we haven't actually used it yet, but I think it's going to work really good. It's carrying this. Just yeah, that's true. Oh, uh, we really can't tell though because we don't have an electric hookup yet. Yeah, we can't tell we, it's, yet. It's an easy fix. We will tow. We'll have a boat eventually. Oh, we're ready. No, oh, we're ready. Oh, look at her! It's like bumping. She's hot. That's my cup of joe this morning. I'm gonna shoot my bow a little bit just to practice and I have this little, I don't know what it's called. Some guy actually gave this to me, if I'm not mistaken. I think I was at a full draw film tour thing and um, someone who watches the channel gifted this to me, which is really sweet. Uh, probably because he could tell that I needed it. So practicing my release. I normally punch with my finger pretty hard, which you definitely don't want to do. But, um, I'm working on it. Mmm, that one felt better. Let me give you like an up close view. That one felt a little cheating. That one felt like my finger again. It's the difference between like pulling with my finger and pulling with my elbow. The weird thing about using this molded grip release that's different than a wrist strap. Um, when you're using a wrist strap, you, let's like, okay, let's pretend this is a wrist strap. Um, my trigger finger would be wrapped around like that and then the rest of my hand would be relaxed. So it'd be kind of like that vibe and then I just pull back with my elbow. But with this, because you have to grip it, it's like you're gripping it really hard. Most archery experts would probably not recommend this particular grip for that reason, because it just puts you in like a kind of position, which you don't want to be in. But uh, I think it's working for me, so it's all about what works for you. Unless about what works for other people, you know? See? Oh, like, I feel like I'm pulling with my back, but it's like, oh, nothing's happening. <sighs> Elk at 26 yards. Yes, that shot felt absolutely wonderful. Okay, wait, let me shoot. No, I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna do one arrow at a time, really easy and focused. That's it. <sighs> Went through it? Ha ha. I hope that my fletchings aren't messed up. Uh oh. So that caused my fletching to peel off. So I'm not going to shoot another bra practice broadhead because I don't want to keep messing up my arrows. I guess if I do want to shoot another one, I'll just keep shooting this one and this has officially become my broadhead practice arrow.
37 yards. Very nice. Oh, bad shot. Still probably would have killed it, but that was a bad shot. Okay. So, 27, like 26, 37, and 45. This was the 45, and I knew that I flung her a bit. Um, I'm definitely shooting right. Let me, I'm going to shoot a couple more and change my anchor point a little bit. 33. Yes, she's back. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's still good, but I was shaking at the end there. That was actually still a great shot. Whew, I was really trying to hold it together. Okay, let's go look. So first one was at 33, I think. Second one at 41. And after taking my earrings out, that corrected, um, I think, the left and right issue that I was having. First one at 33 was perfect. Second one at 41 was just about two inches to the right, but I was shaking pretty bad. So honestly, I'm very happy with that. Well, good morning. It is the day that we pack in to our elk hunt. This morning we made some coffee, made some egg. What would you call this? Like egg taco? Burrito. Kinda. Egg taco burrito. Mm -hmm. We haven't showered in like two or three days, three days I think. So before we pack in, we're gonna try and find a place to shower. Aw, this is the one that I killed my buck with. I wonder if I should bring it for good luck. So we just got to base camp. Oh. We just got to where we're meeting up with the outfitter. I do not know yet what the plan is. I have no clue um, if we're staying here, if we're packing in to a spike camp, which is what I think is going to happen. We don't know the plan yet. Uh, we met a couple other people who were in camp. They are going on a mule deer hunt, so we won't be with them. But cool to meet other people, and I hope that we see them successful later in the week, and they see us successful later in the week. But... Uh, my emotions are high. <laughs> I feel so excited. This place is absolutely beautiful. Weather is not on our side. It is very smoky and very hot. And unfortunately, it's not going to cool down until we're pretty much done with our hunt. But that could mean some success later. This might be, you know, a long haul. We'll see. I don't know. I'm just pumped. Are these both quarter horses? What's that? Are these both quarter horses? Yeah, this one's quarter horse. That one will be quarter half draft. Uh huh. Or quarter draft, maybe in that one. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna practice shooting a little. I'm going to practice shooting a little. Oh, a ponytail. Need to grab that. So the first group has already started their trek to the spike camp. We are here waiting for the horses to get back. Although I think our horses are right over there. They're looking pretty cute. They're watching me. So we're just hanging out until it's our turn to pack in. So, practicing.
we're at 40 yards. Perfect. Sorry, buddies. They don't like that. No, they don't. Sorry, you guys. Well, it was a perfect shot, so don't think I need to. Like, actually, come look at it. I'm very proud of it. Okay, so we're looking at my 40 yard shot. It felt very good. Looks very good. Um, one thing that I've really, really, really been focusing on is going through, oh, I hope it didn't mess up my fletchings, damn it. I mean, that is as close to perfect as I'm going to get. It's an excellent shot. Okay, good, fletchings are fine. Well, that's good. I'm shooting very good. Um, I feel very good. The most important thing for me with my shooting performance is really taking the time to go through all of the steps of my shooting form. This is what I worked on last year and it helped me a lot with the buck that I killed last year. The buck that I killed was at 40 yards with my bow from a saddle and I go through, I mean, this isn't anything revolutionary. I know nothing. So this is just what has been working for me. I have to go through thinking about my hand, my grip, um, and then my anchor point and how it touches my face. It has to be very light, like a very light touch on my face. When I apply too much pressure, it gets a little funny. Oh, I think I scared my horse buddy. It's okay, buddies. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So awesome. I'm so excited. Um, all of the horses and mules were really well behaved. For the most part. Well, at least that I saw. I'm sure I'm on the worst one. <laughs> I was in the front, so. Mine's a dick. That was so sick. We made it to camp. This is our <gasps> humble abode for the week. I'm so excited. I seriously can't stop smiling because I'm so excited. So there are a bunch of wall tents all throughout here. Um, all of the horses are tied up over there. I think maybe a couple went down there too. But we're gonna have cots and this is going to be the most luxurious hunt we've ever been on. I'm so excited. Oh, it's one of those slider deals? Yeah. You know, slide over the joint. Probably don't even have the microphone on, huh? It's on. <laughs> what do you got to say? I'm so excited and I'm so sleepy and I can't wait. That's pretty much it. I'll have some more thoughtful things to say in the morning for sure. <laughs> all right. Actually, all I have to say is there's a heater in this wall tent. <laughs> That's so cool. This is a luxury. I'm living in luxury. Alright, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, good.